Hello, I'm Joseph, and I'm going to be taking my Subaru Outback on a road trip where I will be leaving from Fredericton, New Brunswick, heading all the way over to Quebec City, then following the St. Lawrence River up a little ways till I get to the 387, then head directly north to Labrador. Once I'm in Labrador, I'll head across Labrador and take the ferry to Newfoundland following Newfoundland all the way down the west coast of Newfoundland to the lower part and taking the ferry to Nova Scotia where I will then finish my road trip by heading home from Nova Scotia. Planned to make this video but I completely forgot that I needed to take video of my first leg of the trip. So leg one where I went from Fredericton to Quebec City, I did not take any videos, therefore we're just going to have to watch this little animated car drive around the screen. In Quebec City, I met up with my friend Jess, where her and I practiced some acro yoga, and after completing some acro yoga, we went and saw the professionals at a circus show. After the circus show, I was going to head to the road and get a little bit of distance. But when I came across this waterfall, which was all nicely lit up at night, of course, I forgot to take a picture then as well. I decided that I would stay in Quebec City for the night. I would camp out and cook some grilled cheese and then go explore the waterfalls the next morning. After leaving the waterfalls, I headed up the St. Lawrence River, took a short little ferry, and continued all the way up to the start of the 389. All right, so we just left this last little town. Um, I don't really remember its name, but uh, yeah, it was the last place to get fuel for what looks like either the next 400 or 500 kilometers, depending on whether the one fuel station was uh, open or not, but we got our tanks full. We got a full Jerry in the back. Uh, we got two spare tires. We've got a tire repair kit and three days worth of food and water. So we think we're good. Northern Quebec is looking pretty sweet highly recommend coming out here maybe not quite this early in the season but definitely come out there's like mostly up this road just a bunch of what looks like people who are on snowmobiles and having some outdoor adventures up here so so yeah this is a cool little dam I hope we can get up top to see what's on the other side. But if we come across the road, and just a little top view. I gotta look up what dam this is, but this is kind of cool. All right, so we're just stopping for the night. We're 223 kilometers up this road. We're averaging 9.1 liters per 100 kilometers. So we've used about 20 liters of fuel so far. We have 80 liters of fuel on board. So three quarters of a tank uh, left. Um, yeah, so I saw a sign for their back. It said that uh, 106 kilometers from there. So that would put it at 320 kilometers. So in about a hundred and uh, right under a hundred uh, kilometers, we're gonna have a point to fill up with fuel. So providing that sign's correct and the fuel place is open, then we don't have to worry about fuel at all here. So we're gonna pack her in for the night and 
yeah, we will see how this goes tomorrow. All right, so we're just gonna get out and get this car set up for the night. So, all we need to do for that is come back here. We gotta get my little leveling kit out, so open up the back here. All we're gonna do here is just throw this little tire jack underneath my the part that goes into the box. And in a second here, we can take the pressure off the rear springs and level out the bed. That should be good. Just gotta go through and convert the car from driving mode to sleeping mode. Alright, it is just that simple. This set of lights. All right, so not a bad day. We got 650 out of the 950 kilometers to get from Quebec City to Labrador City. Um. Yeah, we're just stopped about 250 kilometers out, packing in for the night. So right now, the car is still warm, but it is inside temperature of 17 degrees and outside temperature of one degree. So I'm assuming that the car is gonna cool down quite a bit overnight. So what I'm gonna do is turn on my heater. Oh, I think I gotta push a little longer. Yeah, we can already see the temperature's trying to turn down. So I just have a heat setting one. Heat setting one only puts about uh, 0.1 of a liter of fuel through the car an hour. 0.1 to 0.2, somewhere in that area-ish. Um, so the heater is set up, so you can either have it on the heat scale as we see it, or we just can have it on a temperature where I could just set it to 17 degrees or whatever our temperature I want to set it to. But I don't like having it set to set say 17 because then it puts it right up to level three and that pumps way too much heat in. And then once it gets it to 17 degrees, it almost takes it like five minutes before I'll knock it back down to level one. And then it's like 23, 24 degrees in here. So I just like going straight down to heat level one, just leaving it out there. Um, unfortunately, this, uh, oh, I gotta change it here in settings now. Yeah, so I put it to heat level one. Um, for, unfortunately, it won't shut the heater off. Once it reaches temperature, it just lets it stay at level one. So that's kind of a downside. I wish it would have it so that way it could kick it on and off if you just had it in standby mode. But that's, I guess that's what happens when you get just a cheap diesel heater. We've got more than enough voltage in our battery bank and watch is charging my phone will be charging here pretty soon so good night morning so it's uh i don't even know what day it is anymore saturday morning maybe anyhow we're up we're moving around we got a nice sprinkle of snow on the trees over here or frost. 
Makes them look pretty cool. All right, we are all converted back into car mode. We are ready to get a few kilometers on. Unfortunately, I turned off my GPS last night and there's no reception out here. So that means I gotta go do everything from memory, but I think it's only one turn from here, plus there's signs. Um, so we shouldn't have any two or any problems. Anyhow, we're gonna go get some kilometers on make some breakfast later on and that'll start our day yeah so we're just uh it's about i don't know 40 50 kilometers up the road from where we picked up fuel most expensive fuel i've ever paid for it was two dollars and 42 cents a liter so pretty pricey but it makes sense when it's like in the middle of in the middle of nowhere and they have to ship it in so like i'm not complaining i'm just stating a fact but yeah, it's uh, from the water dam all the way to where I think the fuel was all gravel roads. So almost 100 kilometers of straight gravel roads, but we're back on paved roads again. So yeah, just decided to stop here, cook up my breakfast. Pretty nice views here. This has been like the whole ride here. It's just crazy awesome views like this here the whole time. Anyhow, I'm going to keep eating and cooking and get ready to eat. Fire Lake now and as soon as we pass Fire Lake it's all gravel roads again so looks like about 86 kilometers to the next big city so we're probably gonna be sitting on these gravel roads for another quite a distance here so 